Oh, the Liberals are furious. And by the Liberals, I mean not just the official Liberal campaign, but Liberals with press credentials who call themselves reporters at the CBC. They're all a flutter at Conservative Party ads in Chinese and Punjabi that claim Trudeau supports the sale of marijuana, even to children, that Trudeau wants to expand injection sites for hard drugs, and that Justin Trudeau even supports brothels for prostitutes. The media are shocked, and other liberal politicians are shocked, too. I mean, how unethical of Stephen Harper targeting socially conservative new Canadians who don't understand how fashionable all of these causes are. It's like when Justin Trudeau goes to the gay pride parade one day, and then the next day he goes to the Saudi-style Wahhabi mosque where women aren't even allowed to be near the men. The next day, Trudeau takes great care not to mix up his two speeches. Surely Stephen Harper should help him keep things separate. See, the thing is, Trudeau does support the legalization of marijuana. I mean, take a look at this. See my friend uh, uh, waving a, a sign about decriminalizing a cannabis. I'll take that as a question. Um, uh, I'm actually not in favor of decriminalizing cannabis. I'm in favor of legalizing yeah. it. Yeah, so what's wrong for translating that into Chinese and Punjabi? And yeah, he is for more hard drug, drug injection sites in downtown cities too. Take a look at this. I certainly uh, want to see more, uh, more safe injection sites opened around the country. And as to the third charge that Justin Trudeau wants to legalize prostitution, well, Trudeau has taken a strategically vague position to avoid formally taking sides until he's safely through the election. You tell me what this means, and I quote, the Supreme Court has said the framework that existed was not protecting vulnerable people and women from violence, and I think that's the lens we need to look at as we move forward on that difficult issue, unquote. Yeah, I'm going to call that... Justin Trudeau's cool with prostitution, but he wants the Supreme Court of Canada to do the heavy lifting for him, and he doesn't want to alienate, you know, Chinese or Punjabi voters in the meantime. I got a prediction. I've seen the opinion polls. They don't look good for the Conservatives. I think there's a Conservative shyness when it comes to talking to pollsters. Conservatives have been so berated in public, they're afraid to speak honestly about their beliefs, even on the phone to a stranger who's a pollster. So I think perhaps the Conservatives are not quite as dead as they look right now. But I'm not particularly hopeful. But I will make this prediction for election night. I bet that new Canadians, especially Chinese Canadian voters, will vote conservative in higher numbers than old stock Canadians do. Chinese Canadians, Korean Canadians, Filipinos, Hindu, Hindus, Jews, Eastern Europeans, especially Ukrainians. I bet they will vote for Harper. It's only left-wing, fashionable, old-stock Canadians who have Harper derangement syndrome. I've actually never seen a new Canadian exhibit that fever. And those white liberals know that Trudeau really has nothing in common with new Canadians other than he wants their votes. So Trudeau doesn't want them to know what he really thinks about controversial things. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ansel Levant.